sometimes we just get a little overwhelmed. And so for all you Christian moms out there who are watching this video, I just want you to know that it's okay to just be a mess and it's okay to just not be okay and it's okay to not be perfect hey everybody and welcome to the channel if you're new here my name is amanda i would love to have you subscribe to the channel and join our online kingdom crew and if you tap that big red subscribe button a little church bell will pop up go ahead and tap that so you're notified every time i post a video so today i wanted to share with all of the christian mamas out here on youtube who happen to stumble upon this video or just Christian women who have ever helped in any level with parenting children. The video is not scripted. There's not a specific Bible verse. This video is just a talk. This video is to the Christian moms who find themselves knee deep in the middle of parenting and child rearing, who find themselves right in the midst of the chaos, the beautiful mess that their children make. And honestly, it's just a real talk from my heart with you guys this morning. So I was speaking with a friend on the phone today and the reality of my situation just kind of smacked me right between the eyes. And I just felt like the Lord wanted me to share with you guys. Sometimes we get on YouTube and we watch videos and we consume content and information. We scroll through our Instagram feeds. We look on our Facebook and we just find ourselves with our headspace kind of in the wrong place. Do you know what I mean? As a Christian mom, I feel so conflicted because a huge part of me wants to embrace my chaos right where I am and really just wants to be happy and wants to feel content. And then there's this huge pull from the world and everything that's happening around about me that says I can't do exactly what I want to do because of X, Y, and Z. I can't be exactly what I feel like God is calling me to be because of, of this, that, and the other. And in the midst of the chaos of being a Christian mom, I find myself conflicted. Comment below the word mom if you're still with me. So here's the thing, ladies. As I was talking to my friend on the phone, I said to her, I said, I just feel like my hands are in so many things right now and I'm pulled in so many different directions. I'm trying to be all things to all people. And my eyes begin to well up with tears while I was on the phone with her and I know that she didn't know that but I know that God knew. And this is the thing, when you try to be the best mom you can be and the best wife you can be and the best YouTuber you can be and the best student you can be and the best Christian you can be and the best music minister that you can be and the best preacher that you can be. Sometimes you get caught up in trying to be the best you that you can be that you forget that you're supposed to be the best you with your eyes focused on him. And sometimes you get caught up in your ability or the lack of your ability, your knowledge, or the lack of your knowledge. Maybe you feel like you've let your family down. Maybe you feel like you're just maybe not doing this whole Christian mom thing to the best of your ability. You know, I was talking to her and I said, you know, not everybody has this situation where their kid doesn't want this for breakfast so they throw a big huge temper tantrum because they don't understand why they can't have that for breakfast because not everyone is parenting a special needs child. And not everyone is knee deep in the middle of a teething baby. And I told her, I said, I know one day, three years from now, five years from now, I'm gonna look back on my life and I'm gonna think, I wish that I had the teething baby. I wish that I had Abel in the place where he was when he needed me a little more. And I think that just the reality of trying to embrace everything for what it is and be thankful and content in all times, sometimes we just get a little overwhelmed. And so for all you Christian moms out there, who are watching this video, I just want you to know that it's okay to just be a mess and it's okay to just not be okay and it's okay to not be perfect and it's okay to not have it all figured out and it's okay 
just being you for Jesus, just being everything you are right now in this moment, not worrying about what I'll think or feel or want three years, five years, 10 years from now, not worrying about is this channel going to take off and am I going to impact the right people for the Lord and not worrying about what tomorrow looks like. But I really did not mean to make a big video of, of crying and I'm sitting here in my husband's hoodie and have this weird looking hair scrunchie in and and of course I'm ripping the staying kingdom minded cup I guess I, I guess I'm just trying to say to the Christian mom out there who's looking for validation who's looking for the likes and the followers and the subscribers and to grow their business and to be everything for everyone to know that you weren't created to be everything for everyone you were created to be the one for the one does that make sense so christian moms give yourself grace today christian moms give yourself the same grace that you want god to give you when you go to prayer and you say god i've messed up god i can't do this god i don't know which way to turn give yourself the same grace because he's giving it to you so you need to give it to you too. It's okay to not be perfect and to have it all figured out. So I hope you are, um, I hope you're having a, a blessed day, giving yourself grace and learning how to just be still, to just be still in this moment. It's okay to not be okay. I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be okay. Oh, all right. I think that's all I have for you. Thanks so much for dealing with all of my outdoor recording studio noises. I think some people are moving across the street and the dogs are barking and the crickets are chirping this really loud noise. And I'm sure you're hearing Abel's watching TV in the other room and making some interesting sounds as well. So thank you so much for listening to me. And I pray all you Christian mamas out there have an amazing day. Comment below the word mom if you made it through. And I pray that this video has encouraged you in some small way to know that you're not the only one who doesn't have it all together. All right, stay kingdom minded in all things, girls, and I will see you in the next video.